Zinnias get their name from the German botanist and anatomist Johann Gottfried Zinn. Contrary to popular perception, they were not discovered by Johann, but named in his honor. Zinnia is native to Mexico, South America, and southwestern parts of USA. It thrives in areas with a hot climate. Zinnias are a very low maintenance plant and hence is one of the most commonly cultivated ornamental plants in the world. Here are some interesting facts about the zinnia. The leaves are narrow, lance-shaped and have a sandpaper-like texture on touch. Run your fingers over the leaves and you'll feel the roughness. Zinnias come in various colors like white, yellow, orange, pink, red, lilac, purple and even multicolored. The only color it doesn't come in is blue. Butterflies and hummingbirds are attracted to the flowers and help in their pollination. Zinnias are commonly cultivated in gardens to attract butterflies. Zinnias weren't always as popular, however. Although native to North and South America, not everyone found them attractive or desirable as a landscape plant. In fact, when the Spanish first saw the zinnia species in Mexico, they considered the flowers so unattractive that they named it Mal de Ojos, which is Spanish for the evil eye or sickness of the eye. So how come a plant that is so adored by gardeners now was loathed by the Spanish? Nothing wrong with the Spanish and their sense of beauty. It's just that what they saw was the native species and what we see in our gardens now is a variety that has been bred by plant breeders carefully over many years. Zinnias are the first flower to bloom in space. Yeah, that's right. They were chosen to be grown on the International Space Station to help scientists understand how plants flower and grow in microgravity. On Valentine's Day 2016, astronaut Scott Kelly harvested the first space zinnias grown aboard the space station. It was the first flower grown in space station's veggie facility. Zinnias are very easy to grow, both from cuttings and seeds. They like well-drained, humus-rich soil and full sun. So grab some seeds and start sowing them in your garden and let them enrich your garden in no time at all.